Well, we haven't posted one of these videos in a while, but we are back with another van build episode for a very exciting reason. The swivel shop sent us a driver's seat swivel to install in our van. We've been wanting to do this for a while, but we didn't prioritize it because we wanted to get on the road. This is the Scopima driver's seat swivel. This is the exact model we wanted to install in the driver's seat because it is the thinnest uh, swivel that you can install in your van. We are just going to install it as is today, which will be about an inch and a quarter of added height on our seat. You can modify it to make it shorter to about seven eighths of an inch, but that requires extra cutting and stuff. But we are in the middle of a parking lot in the middle of a city that we are unfamiliar with. So we are just going to install it as is. And you can get this swivel in all models of the cargo van at the Swivel Shop's website. Be sure to check out the link in our description below because you can get a discount on this swivel. So to go over all the parts that come with the Scopima swivel seat, it's obviously the swivel right here. And you can see it's labeled nicely with the Swivel Shop sticker right there. Then we have our some of our bolts and nuts. These will be replacing the ones that go that are currently in the seat. And then we also have our spacers that we will be using. And again, as Darian said, you can remove these, but you have to do some additional cutting and, and planning of, of that nature. But I think due to our situation, I think we're just gonna install it just how it is and I think it'll work just fine. You are gonna need a few tools as well. You're going to need some torque bits and we have these little, uh, these little Allen style kits. And I think it's a T40 to remove the, the current bolts that are in the seat. And then it seems like the bolts that come with the Scopima swivel seat are actually a hex style. As you can see, it's a metric hex and it looks like the five millimeter fits it perfectly. So that's what we're gonna be using to install these after we remove the torque fit. Okay, so the first recommended step of installing the swivel seat is to disconnect your the negative terminal of your battery so that way you don't potentially risk setting off your, your, your seat airbag. But our negative terminal is, terminal is for some reason a huge pain in the ass to disconnect. So we are going to skip that step um, and just be very, very careful with the airbag connections and to, to prevent setting anything off. Okay, so next step after you would disconnect the negative terminal of the car battery, we're gonna jump in and start removing the torque bolts that are in the current chair slide system. You can see them here, 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 and here on the back. And there's also some, one on each side of the front as well. The size of that is a T40 torque. As you can see here, fits like a glove. And we're going to start loosening these to access the ones in the front. Uh, just like to access the ones in the back, you have to slide it forward. And to access the ones in the front, you have to slide it back. So I'm trying to use my little handy dandy Torx all-in-one tool. Angle is a little tricky to get something this tall in there. Um, and I don't want to strip out the bolts before I even get this thing started. So what we're going to do is use this, uh, the 90 degree torque bits so as you can see this is significantly more low profile than this you can use a socket as well with a with a torque bit as you can see it clears a lot easier now I'm gonna loosen that up now before we get those completely off I want to go under the seat and disconnect the uh, the airbag connectors okay so now we're under here with the um, the airbag connectors we need to remove those um, and as you can see all these the, the wires connecting to it is strapped to the base of the chair and so we're going to need to cut that zip tie right there so once we get everything disconnected these uh, wires will be free and not still stuck so now all of this is free now we just need to undo these, these clips and you do that by pulling this little purple tab right there pull it down disconnect all of the wires that are connected to the actual physical seat are disconnected from the wires that are connected to the base. I think we can take off those torque bolts all the way and remove the seat. And just as a recommendation to remove all of these torque bolts, I would probably try and use some sort of socket with uh, the torque bolt actual connections on here because then you could ratchet and, and get these off a lot quicker than me having to manually twist this little guy. So just a recommendation for you. So as you can see, we got the seat removed. We got the swivel down here. Um, we did a little test run. Just a little note, we did have an initial issue with this lever. It was 
bent further upwards and we couldn't release this top slider just yet. So we contacted uh, the swivel shop and they reached back out to us and they said, occasionally these leisure levers might get a little bent in shipping, which um, it's, it's typically not a big deal. You can just bend them right back, which is what we did. And it is all good to go now. I think we just got a little unlucky, but it was still fixable on the spot. So now we're going to look at the bolts that were thrown in here. So we have some long ones, we have some short ones, and then we have some nuts, which actually go with the long ones. And the reason you have two different lengths is because the short ones are going to go into the base of the chair, just like so. And these long ones are a little bit longer, so that way you can put them through these spacers. So as you can see, like such, it would come to the bottom, and this would go, this would go on the top up here. To access all of these bolts, you will have to just turn the, uh, the top of the mount sideways, or else they'll be covered up, so. So now that we have all the bottom lower bolts tightened, we are going to get the chair back up in here, feed the wires down through um, the, the swivel hole. Time to put the chair on. She's gonna feed the wires through the swivel hole. Huh? Oops. There might be a better way to do this, but the best way I've come to is kind of just sitting the chair on the mount and then lifting kind of a side at a time. Placing this on there, lifting the other side, placing that one on there. So here we go. Have to lift that up. It's obviously not perfect just yet, but I'm also going to put the other side under there. The spacers are roughly uh, between the, the plate and the chair. So I have the, the hole lined up for, for this one. Brought it all the way up through. I'm gonna just kind of uh, finger tighten these connections and then I will fully tighten them once we get them all in there. Got this side lined up, put these on there. So now that we got all of the nuts and bolts loosely fitted in there, we're going to firmly tight them all, tighten them all down. These nuts are a half inch socket, so what we're going to do is put our half inch socket up here and put our five millimeter hex through the bottom and go to town tighten all these. So now that we have everything tightened down all the way, I'm gonna scoot this bad boy back a little bit, and then I'm gonna plug these airbag sensor wires back in, and then we're gonna give it a, a little test, and we can even compare it to our swivels, our US swivel seat on the passenger side to kind of see which one does the job better. So now you can see we have the swivel seat installed. It spins nice and easy compared to our uh, Swivels RS seat, which at this point is a little squeaky. It didn't used to be that squeaky, but. So this one, off of first glance, definitely spins smoother. This one, again, might need a little bit of grease, but. So that's the first point of comparison. I think this one wins. I think the Scofima Swivel Seat wins there. And now I'm gonna measure the thickness of these actually. So we used, again, we used the spacer, which makes it a little bit taller. You can remove the spacer, do some modifications to the seat, which we do not do. So we're gonna measure as is with the spacer. Yep, so it sits right at like an inch and a quarter, which I think is what they advertise. So I'm going to now measure the swivel, RS swivel seat. And that one is actually right under two inches about an inch uh, an inch and three quarters. The Scopima swivel seat actually is a half inch shorter than uh, the Swivels R Us, which is one of the main points of attraction why we originally wanted this one, but I'm so glad we got it now in the driver's seat, especially because I'm a little taller and the closer my head can not be to the ceiling would be great. And just from a baseline, um, I noticed that it seems to be a little sturdier. If you look over here, this one has a little jiggle to it and it's fully tightened. It's just got a little more jiggle. And this one right here, Moves a little bit, but I can definitely feel that it's it's way sturdier in all reality. For the last and most important step, you have the driver fitability test. I just came up with that on the spot. But, all right. So we're at about the distance that I would sit from the steering wheel, right here. Good. My head is not up in the headliner like I thought it would be. That's good. I don't even think I would notice that, like if Daring were to have installed this while I was gone and I were to come back and start driving, 
I don't think I would even notice that I'm much higher, if any. What I've noticed, like the Pro Master seat kind of sits a little higher. Um, again, like you have this like, little shelf up here so it can block some visibility. And I was afraid that just even moving a little bit higher would make it like less safe to drive almost. But I, I'm very happy with this. I don't think I don't think it will cause any issues. My turn. And when Ricky goes out of town, I drive the van. <laughs> and yeah, it feels like the same. It's weird. I mean, I guess I feel like a tiny bit higher, but it's like almost in a good way. I feel like I feel like I have more clearance. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't bother me at all. So at the end of the day, we have a new swivel seat, Scopima swivel seat um, in the driver's seat. Very happy with how it turned out. Yeah. Ozzy um, loves the swivel seat. She's already, she's already uh, hanging out. Yep, so now she's got a bonus one. And again, like we mentioned earlier, we do have a discount code down in the description that you can snag one of these bad boys off of the swivelshop.com. I do think it is definitely worth it. So check it out. Now, on to another note. So it took us a while to name our van, but we have finally come up with a name and it is... Drum roll. Peaches. <laughs> we built our van in Georgia in Atlanta for a year and a half and Atlanta's near and dear to our heart. It's home to us and it helped us make our new home. I felt like it was only fit that something cool, awesome, cute, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> that, that relates to that piece of our lives. And I think it's, uh, I think it, I think it works. Peaches. Well, thanks so much for watching our video guys and we hope to see you next week for whatever that may be. <laughs>